Hello, and welcome to an online tutorial on Blogger. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up a Blogger account, how to create a new post, how to edit posts, and how to add hyperlinks. Before we get started, let's talk about exactly what a blog is. A blog is your own, your own little piece of internet. It allows you to write and journal your thoughts and post them for the world to see. Blogs are a wonderful resource for teachers and students, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. First, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to www.blogger.com. You'll be directed to the Blogger homepage and you can select create a blog. Once you've selected this link, you'll be directed to set up an account. After setting up the account, you must go back to your email and click on the link provided to confirm the account. After clicking on this link, you will be directed to your dashboard or your home page. On this page, you can start writing new posts. You can also find blogs you're interested in following and add them here. The blogs will automatically update as new information is added. Today we're going to focus on new posts. So let's click on our um, posting a blog. So, so let's click on new posts. We'll click on new posts and a word processing document will appear. Here I can add a title and I can go ahead and type any information I want. I'm going to go back to the dashboard to edit one of my old posts. I'll click Edit Posts, and then as you can see, I have two blogs already or two posts already started. I'll click on Edit, and here is my blog: How Teachers Can Use Blogs. I this is a lot of useful information, but I want to make it easier to read. So I want to edit it a little bit. To do this, I can highlight the words I want to change and say I want to make this, this section bold. I just click B for bold. I can do the same thing with, with students can use blogs too. Click B for bold. If I want to make the title bigger so it stands out more, I just come to these two T's and then scroll down to the size that I want to use. I'll do the same thing here. If I want to italicize words to make them stand out, I can click the I here after highlighting the word and the words will italicize. As you can see, teachers can use blogs to post lessons and resources to update parents, students, and colleagues on events, to reflect on lesson practices, as well as to share ideas with other teachers. Now I want to make this list bulleted, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything and click these bullet points. This allows the list to become bulleted. I also want to do a similar thing with this list here. Students can use blogs to work collaboratively. Well, instead of italicizing the word work, I want to change the color. So I go up to this T, click on the T, and a list of colors appears. I want my new color to be green, so I'll click green. Now you can see that students can use blogs to work collaboratively with classmates on projects, to keep reflections in journals, and to easily post questions that they may have on an assignment. I also want to set this section apart, so, but instead of bulleting, I want to number it. My three reasons why students can use blogs. Now, I want to show an example of a blog that a, teach, a classroom teacher has. So I'll type example here, and then I want to link it to a blog. Here's an example of an English teacher's blog. It has videos. It has links to poetry and to lessons that they may have in class. Here is Romeo and Juliet's schedule. 
if students need it, they can just come here and receive this, get the, the schedules. I want to hyperlink this blog to my blog. So I'm going to select the URL code, copy, go return to my blog, then I'll select this hyperlink tool right here and paste the link, click OK, and now I have the example. I want to save what I have so far, so I'll click Save Now. In this video, you have learned how to set up a blog account, how to create a new post, how to edit a post, and how to add a hyperlink. In the next video, we'll talk about how to upload pictures, embed videos, and how to finally publish our new posts.